this is a sample of fretwork, or scroll work as it's sometimes called, and I would like to walk you through the steps and what I do to make a project such as this. The first thing I do is pick up some rough sawn lumber from the local lumber yard. Oak, walnut, I like to work with the hardwoods. I'll take a board, cut it in strips, anywhere from two and a half to three inches wide, whatever works out best for the width of your board. After I have my wood cut into strips, I bring it over to the joiner. Here I'll run through on both sides of the wood to make sure that I have a nice, smooth, even surface for gluing. My next step, I come back over to the bandsaw and I'll take and resaw, cut this board in half. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm the project I'm working on, I want boards that are like a quarter inch in thickness. You could just plane both sides like this or glue it and use a thicker piece. Once I have my boards resawed so they're the thickness that I want, I look for the grain and make sure that I alternate the grain of the wood, glue them together, alternating the grain direction. Put it in the pipe clamps, snug it up, and let it set. Now the reason that I alternate the grain is because once your finished project is set, there's less likely a chance that it's going to warp if you have the alternate grain pattern. I come up to the planer, and here the purpose is to make a nice, smooth, even finish on both sides of the board, and this way I can get it down to the desired thickness that I want. And like I mentioned, this one I want it down to a quarter inch. Once I have my board plain, so I have a nice, smooth, even finish, it's time for the pattern. Now I just make a photocopy of the pattern that I'm interested in using, take some spray adhesive, an all-purpose spray. Lightly spray the back of your pattern. Don't spray your wood. And adhere it such. And you don't need to cut your pattern out so you don't waste all this space. Once you have your pattern glued, your holes drilled, it's time to saw. Now on the scroll saw, the blade is very flexible, which makes it easy because what you need to do is speed it up from the bottom of your pattern, insert it through one of the holes, lock your blade, set your tension, and you're ready to saw. Once your pattern is all cut out, now we're to the finishing stages. One thing nice about a scroll saw, there's very little sanding that has to be done. On the back of your project, take a hand sander or a piece of sandpaper, lightly sand the back of your project. The blade cuts so fine and nice, it's not necessary to sand in all of your cutout areas. Once you have your sanding all done, now it's time for the finish. I like to use a clear wood finish, which just accents the grain of your wood. But you can stain it dark, you cannot stain it, whatever is a personal preference. I hope the information that I have given you has given you an insight as to what fretwork or scroll sawing as it's known is. You don't have to invest in all the equipment that I have. You can purchase pre-finished lumber at your local home improvement store or you can find it online. Either way, this is a great way to spend your spare time. I have a variety of my work on our website at Something and More Home Crafted Gifts. I hope you enjoy this craft as much as I have.